my guy Cindy over at my land is his land. So um, this is the day after Easter, um, Monday, and I live over in the, the low country area, South Carolina, and we did have a tornado touchdown earlier today. And fortunately enough, um, we were not affected directly. We do still have some people unaccounted for. Um, not very far away at all, like somewhere between like 20, like maybe 25 miles away from us, the tornadoes had touched down. So it's going to be a fairly quick video because it's just been a hard day for us. But um, surprisingly, and I'm not sure why I'm thinking maybe because of the bushes behind it, but um, then again, none of my stuff on the other side either. So um, all my plants have survived. I thought for sure these towers would be gone. I thought I would have to hunt down the pieces to these towers and replant them. However, I mean, look, these chickpeas, they're just growing so big. Um, they're doing amazing. So, um, no real problems there. I took a look at the peach earlier. Everything's still okay. The pool is he cleaned some of it up, but I mean, there's still stuff laying down. You can see the dark spot in the middle of the pool. And you can no longer see the bottom of the pool. It's cloudy and dirty again, so it'll have to be shocked, but that's no shock. Um, I mean, everything over here seemed to survive, um, which was probably the biggest shock to me because I really expected half of this stuff to be gone by now. Um, not by now, but just in general. I mean, they just, they survived very well up here. All right, so um, this is my eggplant. Now, some of these leaves down here have been um, somebody's been chomping on them a little bit, but because they've been chomping on those, they haven't been chomping on the bigger ones up here. So I don't want to take them off and lose my big, beautiful ones. These leaves are so soft that they're like fleece compared to cotton. Um, they're just like kind of fuzzy. So my spaghetti squash is getting very big. Um, starting to see bugs. Look at this thing. It's not gonna, it's not gonna focus. That fuzzy white caterpillar. Yuck. Um, there's an okra plant. My beans are surviving, and look at this, wrapping themselves very effectively. So that's always good. That's my butternut squash down there some more beans that dragon bean finally came up that I planted to replace the other one Ooh, yuck. just walked into a spider web guys and then this is my zucchini zucchini this is Japan eggplant doing very well this right here is honey melon very excited never had it before guys Here's what I'm super excited about. Look at that. Right. How come I get right there? What is that? Do you know what that is? Yes. I can't focus. Flowers. Those are tomato flowers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They were not out here earlier today. When I came out to check on my tomatoes to make sure that they had survived the high winds. So those are my first ones of the season. Basil's looking really well. Radishes are getting, oh, focus. Radishes are getting bigger. All right, the cucumbers down there at the bottom of that trellis is doing very well okay guys raspberries still standing blackberries still standing we have a couple blackberries started on here already we have that one and that one 
and that one, and then the flower below it will eventually become one, and so will that flower. Just want to check this side for any more flowers on the tomatoes. Apologize, I'm walking a little fast, guys, but I, I do need to get back inside and go back to work. All right, so those are the only flowers that's open. Let's find them again. Let's see. Where were they? They're on this one. And that plant is a... Huh, of course, all I can see is the word tomato. So let's see. That is my Brad's Atomic. So those are going to be um, somewhere between a grape tomato and a cherry, no, a grape and a Roma. So they're going to be a little bit bigger than a grape, but not quite as big as a Roma. And they're like purple and yellow and look them up, guys. They're going to be super neat looking, but that's going to be the first ones. All right, guys, I got to get inside. I go back to work. So excited I came out. See you on the flip side and be blessed.